People have a really weird stigma about art to the point where people think that you can or you can't. But today I want to actually erase that stigma today because, of course, art is an expression of oneself and their imagination. And it's such a shame that people actually don't actually try to strive to achieve to make their you know, their art better in a lot of senses, not expressing themselves in a way that they want to as a result. Now, there's a myriad of different ways people can actually express themselves with their art. Don't get me wrong. But the main point of contention that we're going to be talking about today is, of course, drawing, because it's the most popular and most broad form of art. By the end of this, I want to instill the word of passion of art into every single one of you, my audience. So without further ado, let's begin. When it comes to getting better at art, a lot of artists will actually tell you that the main thing to do is to get better at practice. Practice, practice, practice. You'll hear this a lot. Practice comes with a lot of persistence, as in with any form of activity in the world. And that's where a lot of people actually fail, coming to, you know, the shapes and how, how the curves are supposed to be and how octaves and whatever the designs are they're trying to do. It can be very overwhelming to the point where it can actually kill motivation. But that is where persistence comes into play. Even if an artist, or even if so, even if on some days where an artist's drawings are actually subpar at best, it's always better to actually try in the in the in the long run. Now, you know, I also do have personal days where I do actually don't really do good at art, but you know, persistence and you know, through all that and taking breaks every now and then, it does actually refresh my imagination and my mind and actually helps me understand what I'm trying to actually perceive as a work. A person who's also looking into getting better at art should also turn uh, a person who's trying to look at a person who's trying to get better at art should also look into the 21 days rule where you know you try something for 21 days and you see if you can get better at it and better at it over time because eventually after 21 days it'll become a habit which is true for most humans in general with so much work to do though what's the point of it all it's probably on your mind and the main thing is actually expression art by many is a form of expression like I said before, there are so many different ways to express yourself. There's like an amalgamation of things that you can actually perceive through art. With how the real world circumstances can be very draining and quite frankly hard, it's good to get away for a little while through your imagination. And of course, I'm saying that a lot because that, of course, is what art is all about. A place where art takes you somewhere, somewhere else, some, somewhere place better somewhere that's you. Places as simple as your home, your office at work, your classroom at school. These places can give you an aura of who you are through your art and decoration, which is important for the type of person or for the type of vibe you want to give off in such of these kind of places. But again, what steps can actually help you actually get better at art and what can I actually do to do that? For a more straightforward and systematic approach for beginners, practice always with a simple goal in the mind is very important for how to figure out what to practice on and working on your pieces. Now, Yen Sculpts made a video detailing the scientific way to get better at art. These include remembering techniques for longer periods of time than the short term, remove, remove any distractions during study sessions, and don't practice for too long without breaks. It is also important to go through the five processes while in practice. Deconstruction, recall, self-critique, quality sleep, and space deprivation. Space deprivation. Going through these steps will help you retain your memory of how a piece was made and still makes enough room in one's mind to gain new information for the coming days ahead. With that being said, it is kind of quite odd that the benefits that we may see from this, but what are the long-term side effects? Going through such great lengths to improve something can highlight the potential of your art. But what incentive actually motivates you to actually go through with it in the first place? What will you get out of getting better at art in the first place? Well, that's the big reason why I'm here. In other words, what can actually help you stay motivated? Well, the eventual payoff of actually one's progression is really motivating for a lot of things, not just art. So when a person looks at art for what she has done many years ago and looks back at it, she might say, wow, did I really get this good in this short amount of time or this period of time, you know, etc." Of course, you know, this progression is very, you know, I guess like a drug for a lot of humans. Seeing how far a person can go in such a short or long or however long it takes amount of time can really motivate people in the long run. Maybe even garnering more attention by other people seeing her own progression and taking necessary actions to actually improve their own works. With art, it's knowing that your art will always get better no matter what. The thing is about it though is that eventually you're gonna think that your art is really trash when everybody else is telling you that it's actually pretty good. But 
you know, that's the thing about the hungry mind of an artist because you'll never be satisfied. But hey, it keeps you going. But what about me? Surely all this talk about my own art has had some payoff on my end as well, and yeah, you'd be right about that. As a quick comparison, I've actually drawn myself over the years for my YouTube channel. The first avatar that I made for myself was actually pretty basic and not really actually having detail. The second one, in all honesty, is a little bit worse in my opinion. And the third one is actually a pretty fan favorite of mine, but I do like it a lot, but I still do not really like it all that much, but it's like, wow. Like, even at this point, I can say that this is, like, crazy how um, how crazy I've gotten with my, you know, details and all the you know, proportions and the shapes and all that stuff. We go on to four and we see that, you know, my hair is getting a lot more wild and getting a little bit more angry, having a little bit more identity. And the, fi the fifth one, with the fifth transition, with the fifth avatar, I obviously have a lot more personality and have some more coloration going on. A, a good palette, if you will. And the sixth one makes me come off as something of a serious guy, but at the same time, I'm still having that attention. As you guys can see, I'm having more strands around my hair, like how I do in real life. And with the final one, I mean, just look at this. I made this art a couple of months ago, and just look at this one. This one right here is just absolutely amazing to me. I love this one, and it just highlights how far I've come. I mean, I, I, sh I have... I have a good grasp on shading proportions and I can do some great details and incorporate all of my own little nicks, niches, if you will, with my own art as opposed to having something that someone else has so I can have my own identity. Now, let this be known that even though this is how I express myself in my own art, this isn't the only way to express yourself in general. There's a whole lot of ways to actually express yourself in art. I don't think I've said that enough. Whether it be something technical like computing, game design, or something more active like sports and showing off yourself, everything is art. And no matter what, anyone can actually find themselves in something, something and, and maybe other things as well. I like to conclude this speech because, I like to conclude this speech, thank you guys for please Thank you guys for please. I'd like to conclude this speech. Thank you guys for enjoying this. Well, uh, indulging, I guess. Thank you guys for enjoying. No. Thank you guys for being here for this speech. Thank you for indulging all this. I hope this actually lets you, you know, understand like how much like art there is in the world and how much, you know, anyone should actually get better. And of course, I'm still learning to this very day. And honestly, the learning never stops. The only thing that you really need is persistence. So. As always, never give up, even for a second. Thank you for watching. Have a good night or day whenever you're watching this. And as always, thank you.